Conservas. There's your design team. This is coming to us from Salt and Pepper Games. Make the best Conservas in the world in this challenging solo bag building game. One player, ages 12 and up, 20 minutes. There is an English and Spanish version included. There you go, Salt and Pepper Games. So let's get this open and see what is inside. So here is the box, there's a inside of it, but first I will say here are those Spanish components. You have the upgrade cards and the rule book. Set those aside. So here is that rule book. The how to play. There's the story. Here's your components. Your setup. The gameplay overview. Phase 1 at sea, phase 2 in land, more of the stuff that you do in land, end of day, goals, which is based on how you win, and then they do a whole example turn at the back. And then here is your round structure and your iconography. You then have the market book, so this is double sided, one side Spanish, one side English. So as you flip through, you'll see, there you go, that the Spanish is on that side, so it's all backwards, and then you have your English on this side, and there's one for every month of the year that's got a whole kind of different way you have to work the board, and different goals, and the way the bag is built is different. July, August, September. October, December, let's get to November, and November. Alright, next up we have this bag of wooden tokens. So these are water tokens, and then you have different types of fish, and they're double-sided for the fish, and then when you use them to make the conservas, you flip them over to the can side. There's your calendar marker. There's your bag, you'll be putting those tokens in. We did get the upgrade with us back in on GameFound, so we have this whole thing of sleeves. We have extra cards. These are the cards that came with it. You'll see I actually haven't punched this out yet. I am going to be getting to that here soon. But then we also have a couple, three actually, other maps. So here are the punch boards. As you can see, they punch out real nice, like so. Look, that one fell down. And then you have all the various cards, so let me get those laid out here for you. Alright, first up here we have your boats. Your boats have a couple information. This is how much it costs to purchase them. That's how much they upkeep. That's how much fish they can hold. So here's the variety of boats that you have. And then this is the open water card. This will stay on the board. And it's double side with one side with the Spanish side. The ships, they did not duplicate in the game. These are all for the English or Spanish version. These are both it. It's the upgrade cards that came with the two languages. Because as you see, they are language dependent with all the words. So for these, this is the cost to purchase the upgrade. This is one phase it's used in. And that's how many times it can be used. One time, always effect, always an effect. There's a lightning bolt that's an instant effect, so forth. So there are 27 of these upgrade cards. So there is all of those. So if you join me right now, I will show you how to play Conservas. All right, we are just about done with setup to show you how Conservas does get set up. You're going to shuffle your upgrade cards. You're going to make a row of three of them. You're going to shuffle the boat cards. You're going to draw two, keep one place in front of you, put the other one back, shuffle, and then have a display of three cards. You're going to get a general supply of whatever fish are going to be happening in this month's campaign. 
So in January, you have the sardines and the scallops. You're also going to have the open water and your coins. You're then going to look at the setup and see how much of everything you get. So we start with 10 coins. Then in the bag, we are going to put five of the sardines. We are going to put five of the scallops and 10 of the water tokens. You put your round tracker on the first month. You're going to kind of just shuffle these up as so. Get the open water card next to your boat. This side will be for upgrades. You're going to get more boats to the right. And that is set up. Each round is going to follow three phases. It's going to be at sea. You are going to be drawing from the bag five tokens, unless something dictates otherwise, and choosing one of your cards to put them on. So if I draw out one, two, three, and four and five. So now I have two options presently available to me. I can put them on my boat, or I can put them on the open water. If I put them on my boat, my boat has a capacity of two. So I can put two on my boat, the rest would go to the water. So in this instance, I'm going to put on these on my boat. These will go to the open water. I'll do this again until all of my cards are full. So three, four, five. So then all of this goes to the open water like so. Next up is the inland phase. In this phase, you are going to be using the fish that are on your boat. You are going to do one of two things with those fish. You can turn them into conservas and sell them over here at the market, or you can turn them in to get upgrades. Upgrades show how much they cost. This is one of any fish, one of any fish, any two fish that are the same. If you sell them to the market, you're going to take it, you're going to put it face down the market to show the can tab, and you're just going to put it on there and then get the money denoted underneath. In this instance, two money. The Each month will have a specific thing. This one says the market rows must be filled from left to right, so I can't just pop around and do whatever I want. It has to be from left to right. Or if I would have got an upgrade, I'd grab it and I'd look at the symbols underneath and it tells me when it happens. So this is going to happen in the last phase and it's going to happen immediately, which is you may draw and examine up to 10 tokens from the bag before returning them to the bag. The other thing you can do in the inland phase is you can buy more boats. Their cost is listed here. Their upkeep is listed on the side of them. The upkeep though does not have to perform the first round you buy them. So like if I wanted to buy this one, I would spend five coins and I'd bring that down into my row like so. That does not get filled up yet. That would get filled up at the end of the row, at the end of the round. The final phase of the round is the end of day phase. Any leftover fish that would be on your boat would go back to the main supply. Any leftover water tokens are returned to the bag. If you bought a boat or upgrade, those will get replaced like so. If you did not buy any boat cards or upgrade cards, you can now wipe the display and refill it. So if I didn't buy any upgrades, I could just discard those and draw three new ones. You then are gonna pay the upkeep cost of any boats. Again, I just bought this one, so I don't have to pay that upkeep. So I will pay the upkeep on my Carpa Dio of two. Next, you're gonna see if any fish spawn. You're going to look at the open water. Then you're going to see if there is at least two of the same type of fish. In this instance, I have four. So I have four sardines, so we are going to grab three. It's one per fish after the first one. Grab those three. After that happens, you're going to take everything from the cards, add it back to the bag. And then you're going to move the market token forward. If this was the last round, you are instead going to see if you accomplished the goal. If you did, you win. 
So in this one, I have to have 40 money at the end of the game. And then when I empty this bag, I need to have at least four sardines and four scallops. But that is it. Each month we'll have a different way to do the market, different setup, and different goals. So that's how you play Conservas. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you'll go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, share, and ring the bell for this channel because we may be covering this game even more in the future. So if you ring the bell, you'll be alerted to that coverage. So until next time, pop open that can.